Theo Soltan here. Thank you so much for watching. And again, guys, I really appreciate all all the support. Um, just the other day, one of uh, a viewer, someone who comes to the shop as well, um, you know, gave me a phone call, and they're talking about you know how they saw the Insight Manifest and this this and this happened. And it just like made my day. Um, so I really love those kinds of things. So again, guys, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for that. So I was wanting to really switch up the energies in this video a bit. So what I was hoping we would do is we'd use a different kind of deck. Um, this is a a uh, fairy or mermaid-esque deck. Um, it's just sort of uh, like an oracle cards, right? We have this one, and then we also have um, a more angelic deck. Um, again, also related to the Fey as well. Um, so I just kind of want to mix up the energies a bit. I mean, I love my Thoth deck, don't get me wrong, but definitely think it's time to kind of shift it up a little bit. So, I'm going to go ahead and pull two cards for the first three days of this week. And then another two cards for the next three set days. I'm going to give an overall energetic read or insight on that. Um, and then just see what other any other messages would like to come through. So firstly, let's start out for Monday through Wednesday. What are the energetics of Monday through Wednesday on a universal, let, uh, on a universal level for this next seven days? Let's see here. Just overall, what is the energy, the lesson, etc. Ah. So overall, this week has to do with building your financial flow, your abundance, what you're trying to bring to you, what blessings you're trying to bring to you uh, with positivity, with laughter. So overall, that's amazing. Is there anything else that they want to add to this? The magic of nature. Okay, let me see here. This is the card in case you're wondering. Let me see here. So this card definitely is a remembrance uh, as an urge for us to ground and definitely center during this week. What I'm also feeling from this is just the amount of synchronicities and, well, magical things that happen when we are in nature and we're with the spirits and we're with our allies. Um, the image they gave me was like this bird chirping in, in the uh, branches up above. There was just, just a bunch of different animal noises going on at the same time that with the, with the flow of the wind, all of these various noises and sounds and synchronicities added up to something quite significant. So it's just a, a call to get back to nature, a call to ground and balance. So overall, this seems really positive, increasing our financial flow with laughter and a friendly remind, a reminder to get balanced and centered. So let's go ahead and pull three cards for what are the energetics of Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday specifically. All right, let's see here. So this is the other deck we talked about. This is more uh, dolphin, um, a kind of thing. Let's see here. All right, let's pull three cards. For Monday, we have music for manifesting. Tuesday is helpful person. And Wednesday is divine magic. All right, so this is awesome. So, let me go ahead and look into this card a little deeper here. So, what I'm seeing from this card, it's, it's this, a little bit of an older man. Um, I'd say probably thir late 30s to mid 40s. Um, and he's temporarily set up his room um, in a way that looks sort of uh, Renaissance type magic, um, astrological. Um, uh, very, very ritualistic and ceremonial-like, how everything's positioned and set up. And he's just kind of calling it in. He's doing his magic. Specifically, he's intoning, you know, uh, holy names or mantras, etc. And he's using his voice to manifest and bring to him what he's wanting. So this is, essentially, this is putting out there what you're wanting to bring to you for this first day of the week. So if you do prayer, if you light candles, if you do magic, whatever it is you do to manifest or bring in, or perhaps you're letting go at this time, whatever it is you're wanting to bring in or let go, doing prayers during this time is going to be very magical. Because coming up on Tuesday, we do have support in regards to our intention setting. Uh, due to the, all the divine magic, which is following up on Wednesday. So there is just this, this surplus of help coming up. This is a great time to just do a little bit of magic. So let's see uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. What are the energetics here on a universal level? Okay, let's see here. So Thursday, visualization. Friday, we have making new friends. 
it's Saturday. Make music. Wow. So <laughs> if we compare the cards. It's it's lining up pretty well. Um, that's funny. So <laughs> the first. So on Thursday it's visualization. So we are. It does seem we're going through this manifestation process. What we're trying to build and gl and grow now is an excellent excellent time. Um, wow. So visualization. So on Thursday again, visualization. What are you wanting? Intention setting. Building off of that magic that we've been doing. It feels like quite a positive opportunity can manifest um, should we keep our auras bright. What I mean by that is if we're warm and friendly to people during this week, it feels as though it can help lead us to other and better opportunities as well. Um, so just kind of having your energy raised this week, you know, if that you're in that condition, will definitely benefit us. It feels as though, um, yeah, because th the energy here is... Um, it's just kind of like happenstance, running into strangers, making you know friends with strangers, um, even just being friendly to people you don't know. It feels like that energetics will cycle on forwards to help us. So after that, on Saturday, we have making music. Let's see here. So this is bringing everything together and starting to really incorporate it and take action upon it. Um, so, for example, if you're making a dinner, for example, you'd collect the ingredients, you'd cook it, or you'd simmer it, or you boil, and then after that you'd you know do X, Y, and Z. This energy here feels like to me is where, again, we're do what we did early in the week, we need to kind of staircase that progress upwards, right? So this feels to me, again, it's just incorporating what you've done, what you want to do, and putting that to action on Saturday. So overall, let's see here. What were the messages we got? Overall for this week, the message we have here is now is an excellent time for to increase your financial flow with positivity. But remember to stay grounded and balanced. And there is definitely a lot of synchronicity and coincidence to be had in nature. Now is definitely the time to do some intention setting whatever it is, your music, whatever your song is, start to set your intentions and send your energy out. Um, because there are helpful allies and people that are going to be picking up on what we're setting out at this time due to all of the divine magic which is going to be servicing on Wednesday. Remember to keep up on your visualization, your intention setting, and your magic because there are new opportunities of friendship and community coming. Just you have to make sure we put together all of our tools and take action on what we're wanting. All right, so one last overall little tidbit. What do we need to know? Oh, for this week we have parenting and children. Positive expectations. Huh. Let me go and look at this card real quick. Okay, so for this card, it feels as though in parent, you know, family relationships or relationships where you consider someone a child or you consider someone your parents, um, there is, there feels like, to me, to be an opportunity for a great amount of forgiveness to transpire around this time. Um, it's just kind of like wiping the slate clean. Um, and that's perfect for this new year, honestly. Uh, next up is positive expectations. So when you're going to family gatherings, when you're going to family meetings, just have your energy be that of that positive expectation, that light, right? It's kind of like that laughter energy we had, that positive, just joy-filled energy. Carry that with you forwards when it comes to parenting, relationships, family matters during this week and all, for this month, honestly. So, that's all for this insight. Thank you all so much for watching. If you'd like to schedule with me, my information will be down below. Thank you so much. Have a blessed, blessed week.